Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we're actually in sunny California. Today we're headed to Costa Mesa, known as a shopping destination and for great eats. Our first stop, Old Vine Cafe, voted one of the best brunch spots in Orange County. We have items that you just won't find them from anywhere else. We go from beef and omelet to a go short omelet to rabbit mole. We're one of the only places where you can go and have breakfast at 2.30 p.m. We have a pretty extensive, very unique one as well. So this is the caramel apple french toast and I can't even put to words how delicious this is. Fluffy, moist. All I have to say is Kelly's breakfast game is super strong. And it was off to start our day. If you're looking for a different SoCal style shopping, well, Costa Mesa offers a few alternative locations that are a bit trendier than your traditional mall. So this is LAB. It stands for Little American Business. And what once was a night vision goggle factory is now what they call an anti-mall that features boutiques, live music, art, and a lot of great eats. And I can't wait to get shopping. At LAB, there's walls and walls of different patterns and colorful shops, hip boutiques, and for me, a ton of window shopping. Ooh, I like it. After that, it was time for more shopping at South Coast Plaza, the highest concentration of fashion retailers and shopping destinations on the West Coast. While all the shopping is great, I heard about this place, Fresh, that caters a little bit more to your skincare, you know, being in front of the camera. You need to take care of that. Let's go check it out. Fresh curates natural beauty products from around the world. It all started with soaps and has now expanded to skincare and fragrances. Can I just live here? <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes my paycheck. <laughs> here you'll find over 250 stores, over 2.5 million square feet, so make sure to wear your comfy shoes, or if you need a break, head on over to the VIP Access Lounge to kick up your feet and enjoy your choice of refreshments. And after that, it was on to our next location. All right, so we've been walking and shopping all morning long, and finally, the sun is out. So we found a spot that's going to cool us down and pick us up with the sugar rush on top of that. So we're now at the Straw Modern Milkshakes. Let's go inside. Rank Travel and Leisure's magazine's number one spot for milkshakes in the nation. We chatted with the owner to learn more. The inspiration all came from a lot of uh, 1950s diners. We really wanted to give these milkshakes that classic atmosphere yeah. that it once used to be, to bring back some romance back into dessert. The straw serves up modern milkshakes made with unique ingredients and very creative garnishes. Try the Lunchbox, Donkey Kong, or Leani. Talked with a fruity Rice crispy treat they'll have you all coming Ooh. back for more. That's refreshing. Yeah. So the OC Mix is home to showrooms and boutiques and artists and food shops and creative studios and the OC's largest farmer's market. So it has a little bit of it all and it's all top notch. So let's check it out. So here at Weala, we actually feature all California olive oil. So that is our main feature. And what's unique about us is we actually bottle all the olive oil right here in the store. And then when you, our local customers run out, they can bring their bottles back and we refill those bottles for a discounted price. Enjoy complimentary olive oil tasting and balsamic <laughs> with your glass of wine or wine flight or even a craft beer. So that's probably the most shopping I've done in one day. And if I had an extra suitcase to take home, probably stay a lot longer, but we are on a tight schedule, so got to keep on moving. Next up, Crack Shack, an entire restaurant concept dedicated to celebrity chef Richard Blaze, who takes on the chicken and the egg and is best known for its fried chicken. All right, I think I know what I want. <laughs> I'm going to dig in. In addition to its mouth-watering menu, there's also a patio. Oh my God. Everything they do here is just so delicious. That makes it easy to soak in the sun and the drinks and fun twists in art. And for our next adventure, Gunwell Brewery, which has an interesting story to the name. We just were intrigued by the old cowboy slang you're loaded to the Gunwells. It means you basically tip back a few too many. <laughs> Want to know the Gunwell approach? 
Coastal Elves. It combines the traditional European farmhouse with the bold West Coast styles in California, which makes for a delicate and robust local flavor. So you can get kind of on the aroma, it turns into more of like a burnt kind of orange kind of aroma to it. Hey, we know the color burnt orange in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> and seeing as it was dinner time, we stopped for a bite to eat at Vaca, a Spanish-inspired cuisine cooked up by Chef Amar Santana. Well, you have to try the paella, you have to try some other steaks. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Now that is a good paella. Vodka features top quality ingredients with a global meat selection and best served with signature cocktails. Cured meat reminds me of home. And for our last stop in Costa Mesa, Sagerstrom Center for the Arts, a performing arts complex that's home to a symphony, Broadway, and some seriously cool architecture. We have four venues at Sagerstrom Center for the Arts, and so on any given night you can see performances in many of our spaces. Actually, we're in the house right now before the performance, so in just a couple hours there'll be thousands of people here in the hall to see Kinky Boots, as you mentioned, um, and it is a Broadway tour, a Tony Award winning play, a musical, and uh, the score actually was written by Cindy Lauper. After a great performance in day in Costa Mesa, California, it was time for us to say goodnight and see you tomorrow for Day 3 Adventures.